Answer this question in three seconds. What's the most important technical aspect of your video? If you guessed video quality, good equipment, nice lighting, wrong answer. The most important part is audio. Because if your users cannot hear clearly what you say, they will definitely close the video. I know this might be depressing news for some of you who just bought a new fancy camera and want to immediately jump on it. But I have very good news for you today. We are reviewing this microphone, the Northern's Lavalier microphone, which is at least on paper very similar to the Rode Wireless Go, but has one of the greatest features you can imagine. It's the cheapest on Amazon. Let's dive straight into it and see together if it's a good purchase or at least if it's worth 36 euros. And here we are. This is the box of the microphone. It's quite anonymous. We have some of the characteristics on the side, high sensitivity pickup, smart noise cancelling, long battery life and double monitor. Let's see if that's the case. So here we are. This is the first half of the microphone. This is the anti-wind tool and the second half of the microphone. And then here we have some of the cables to connect to the various cameras models. Both the receiver and the transmitter have USB charging. There you go. So you can use the same cables as the GoPro or most of the action cameras or cameras in general. Very convenient. So let's turn both of them on. so that they can start pairing. In order to use an external microphone on the GoPro, you need an adapter. In this case, we are using the media mode. So we open the media mode, we remove the cover from the GoPro and we slide the GoPro inside the media mode, like this. We close and now we have access to 3.5 millimeter jack. This is where we can plug our connector and take the receiver, slide into it and connect the cable. And that's it. This is our beginning of the setup for our GoPro. To connect the dead cat, it's a little bit tricky. You need to insert this very small piece inside the dead cat. One eternity later. I did it! Yes! And then you attach it over the microphone. And that's it! Easy peasy. Almost. <laughs> we have set up everything correctly. We've got the transmitter connected to the camera and the receiver attached to me. So now it's time to test it out. You might think it's too easy to start in the middle of a quiet park, but there's a caveat. I am actually much farther than you might have thought. And you can hear me totally clearly, thanks to the lavalier microphone. It's very easy to understand that the main purpose of a lavalier microphone is not only to enhance the audio of your internal microphone in your camera, but mainly to enable you to shoot new scenes and new scenarios for your vlogs and for your videos. Let's see together some of the new scenarios that I think are the most interesting to me. For example, now you can shoot a scene for your video without the assistance of somebody else holding a microphone for you. Or you can record your vlog. You set the camera in a certain place and you keep recording the audio of what's happening in real time. Did you catch that this is not a voiceover in post-production? This is live audio with the lavalier microphone. It's very fascinating that I can now also record in a scenario where it's very noisy and windy. For example, right now I'm riding a bike and I don't have to worry about pointing the microphone to me all the time. I can also turn the camera around and show you all this beautiful foliage of the city during the fall season. It's definitely not its main purpose, but there's also something else that we can do right now.
Again, this is not perfect, but it's something that otherwise you would have never been able to do. Just to prove a point, this is what you would hear all noisy and whatever if I didn't use the lavalier microphone. These are just some examples of the scenarios that are enabled if you have a lavalier microphone with you. I'm sure that you will find more and more scenarios like following someone or shooting in a crowded room. But right now I want to focus a little bit on the characteristics of this lavalier microphone. First of all, range is great. I tested it up to 10 to 15 meters and uh, if you are someone like me shooting with a GoPro or with a similar sort of camera, then you won't need anything more because after some distance then you won't get any good quality video. So definitely a big thumbs up for the range. Second, battery. I charged both the receiver and the transmitter before shooting for some hours and I had no need to charge them in the between. So, I can definitely vouch for the battery life that is uh, written in the manual, which is between three to four hours. I can vouch for that, so thumbs up for the battery life as well. Third, audio quality. This is very subjective. To me, it's nice, it's clear, it's not spectacular, but the most important thing is to fix the transmitter in a place where it doesn't move at all. And this is something that I failed a little bit in some of the shots that I've shown. Because if it moves a little bit, uh, then it gets a lot of noise and there's a constant crackle over your voice. Not so nice. But in the end, nice quality. One fair point of criticism, at least for what I've received, is that uh, both my transmitter and my receiver have signs of wear and tear. There are a lot of signs that not, not so great. I think I'm going to uh, return it and get uh, a new one from uh, Amazon, uh, just because I don't want that uh, there might be some hidden issue, but uh, nevertheless, it works very nicely. Another thing is that the manual is, uh, yes, it's in English, but it seems it's automatically translated from another language, maybe Chinese. So there's no explanation about all these buttons that you see here. I don't actually know what they do. Uh, also for the two ports that you have here, there are no explanations at all. So yes, it works, but don't ask me to change anything because I wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, I think a little bit of a clearer manual wouldn't, uh, wouldn't hurt at least. I think this is not a professional microphone, but for everyday video makers like myself, maybe like yourself, this is definitely a step up in the right direction. And most of all, value for money, it's unbelievable. As I mentioned previously, I just paid 36 euros for this microphone and there's people in the comments on Amazon that uh, also report that they bought it for 24 euros. So maybe check it out during the Cyber Monday, Black Friday or other discount seasons on Amazon. You can find the link to buy this product as the first link in the description below. This is not uh, a paid sponsorship nor the link is affiliated. Just my video, my product, and my very honest review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and leave a comment. Do you think there's a better lavalier microphone? Value for money, of course. Are there even more scenarios that I didn't cover in my video? Thanks for watching and see you next time. Peace.